Go. Okay. I'm demonstrating how to draw this shell right here. The first thing you want to do is find your basic shape and your axis. So how do you find your axis? You want to hold your pencil so both ends are equidistant to you and equally high and move your pencil down until it touches your form. You'll have to close one eye because otherwise you'll get like a double image. And then turn your pencil so that one side of your pencil lines up with this side of the axis and the other lines up with this side. Then what you're going to do is recreate that line on your paper and as you move your pencil over, you'll see automatically your pencil is in the same line. Same thing with that. So next step is you got to find your basic shape. Here is my point. The basic shape is almost all the way up to the point. I see there's a little cone on there. So big circle, another kind of elliptical shape in the back, and then the tail. It's kind of like that as far as my basic shapes. Then I also have a little bit of a cone here. Okay. This is one of my favorite shells to draw. I love drawing the shell. I don't know why. I just I love the contour line. Next thing I'd want to do is I'm going to do a little practice line contour. So I'm going to start here. And this is probably double fast. So it will take you longer. I got off track. Just a really fast blind contour drawing. Just to really get the idea of the length and the angle of the eye lines. Because the next thing you're going to do is you're going to create kind of the circles in proportion to where they are in your shell. There's two ways to do that. You can measure across with your pencil, and I'm going to hold this right up here so you can see it, but I'm doing it from my point of view. Here, here. This width is about a little less than a third from here to here, from here to here. So here to here is a little less than a third from here to here. Okay. The other thing that you can do is guesstimate. Now, I'm going to draw this line that comes off in relation to this, and it's about here. I'm going to hold my pencil in the direction of the lines and kind of replicate them. See how I can close one eye, hold my pencil in the direction of the line, and then realize that this is the direction of this spike. And then I'm going to use what I learned when I did the blind contour drawing and kind of go along each of these forms. Right now, I'm here. I set up this way so I can have some foreshortening and depth. Some of these little spikes on this ridge back here, I can't see so clearly. They're almost hidden by the point. That's okay. Well, now I'm going to start here.
I'm really getting all of those subtle things that are happening here. This spike is a little higher than how I had it. I'm erasing some of my extra lines. And then again, I'm going back to the basic shape. Then you want to put in some directional lines that represent kind of the decoration that's on your shell. It'll help you when you are coloring with colored pencil because that's the direction that you will be applying the pencil. Don't worry about shading or cast shadow. Matter of fact, you don't want to have any of that stuff in. And this is so cool because it really allows you to kind of like show that illusion of space and depth. You'll be able to show it even more when you add your colored pencil. So that's it.